Nigeria has loads of very rich and nutritious leafy green vegetables. All of these are easily and readily accessible. They are cheap and also affordable. We do cook them and eat them because they are what we know and they are available to us. However, if you have the full knowledge of the health benefit of these leafy green vegetables, I'm sure you'll be able to use it fully to your advantage. Do you want to find out? Then follow me right through to the end as we look at the top and very popular Nigerian green leafy vegetables and their health tips. Hello and welcome about Julie City once again. As usual, I'm always excited to be here and I'm glad you are here. The first top Nigerian green leafy vegetable we'll be considering today is water leaf. I'm going to insert the botanical name on the screen to save myself from biting my tongue. <laughs> water leaf contains lots of rich minerals, protein, vitamins and fiber which is really good for health conditions such as diabetes which is a metabolic disease especially diabetes water leaf is one that you should particularly consider adding to your meal another health benefit of water leaf that it contains high levels of potassium which is good for lowering blood pressure I know blood pressure and diabetes is something that is really common. It also contains necessary nutrients, which is good for lowering blood cholesterol. Again, those bad fats that go in to clog the arteries and the veins, causing a lot of health condition. So it's okay to say that water leaf is good for improving heart health. Now you know better. You can now use water leaf effectively. Remember. Ugu is the next vegetable we will be considering. Ugu is also known as pumpkin leaves and the botanical name I will put on the screen as well. So Ugu is fully loaded with vitamins A, B, C, K. It contains folic acid. It has zinc in it. It has magnesium in it. And of course, it has fiber. Just to mention but few. Ogu is popular, it is cheap, it's readily available in Nigeria. God is very thoughtful in what he gives to us. In Africa, one popular health problem is blood pressure and diabetes. And what we need to be able to manage it in addition to what our medical professional tells us is readily available to us. So Ogu is another one that is good for lowering blood pressure because it contains potassium. It is good for building iron. That is why those who have anemia are encouraged to have them. So you can have Ogu cooked. Remember, cook it lightly. You can have it squeezed up like making smoothies you can have it squeezed and the water or the uh, juice that it brings out you can drink it i also want you to leave in the comment section how else people prepare and use ogo as you know let's educate one another so those who are reading the comment sessions apart from what i share here will also benefit and i also can also relate and benefit from them so please feel free to share your comments and your own suggestions and ideas in the comment section below yeah. apart from blood pressure and boosting uh, blood production ogo is another one that is also effective for diabetes it contains zinc and zinc is good for the management of diabetes how about pregnancy care ogo has loads of folic acid and we know that if you're preparing for pregnancy or while you're pregnant or even postnatally Folic acid is one thing that medical practitioners and the midwife advise you to take. So here we go. Ogo is rich in all of this. Take advantage of what is available to us. The next leaf we are going to consider is bitter leaf. Yes, bitter leaf. In fact, before I go on, if you want to see how bitter leaf is prepared, yes, I mean like proper Niger bitter leaf soup. Check out Ngozi Atiti vlogs. Thus, she just killed the bitter leaf soup. Consider subscribing to her. She's another upcoming YouTuber. <laughs> 
It is called bitter leaf because it is actually bitter. If you're not Nigerian, when I say bitter, I mean bitter in capital letter. However, that bitterness comes with loads of nutrients, comes with loads of life that can keep us in tip top shape. Bitter leaf is fully loaded with folic acid. So when I say folic acid, of course, you should know pregnancy care, pre, during and post bitter leaf soup is something to consider. I know from the side of Nigeria where I come from, which is in the river state side, bitter leaf is not always the first thing served to a woman postnatally. However, during this research, I realized that it's another one that is really good for pregnancy care and postnatal care. So let's go ladies, not just ladies, men. Yes, reproductive health, bitter leaf is one to also boost it. So let's go people. If you're not Nigerian watching me, try it out. If you're living outside Nigeria, you can get this in some of the Nigerian shops around the cities where you live, especially if you're in UK. Ah, they are readily available. You might not get them fresh. You get, find them frozen in the fridges or dried. I prefer the fresh frozen ones. They still give me that taste. However, whichever one you find is fine. But like the other leaves we've mentioned, bitter leaf is also good at lowering blood pressure, reducing cholesterol uh, levels, thereby keeping our heart healthy and is also good for management of diabetes. We know that research has shown that there is high incidence of diabetes, blood pressure, high cholesterol among blacks and especially Nigerians. So please, let's go. Let's use these leaves that we have been naturally endowed with to keep fit. Scent leaf, one of my favorites, is the next one we'll be considering. Scent leaf. Yes, scent leaf. That's one of my favorite Nigerian leaves. Oh my God. Now I was born and bred in that part of Nigeria, the South side, Portaco specifically, where pepper soup, yes, that's what pepper soup is huge. So pepper soup without scent leaf is really not pepper soup, except you use the other leaves which are going to come in. But for me, Pepper soup is synonymous with scent leaf and scent leaf is synonymous with pepper soup. Also known as nchangu by the Igbos or Efini by the Yorubas or in my area I call it Ikane. Scent leaf is in the family of basil leaf. If you're outside of Nigeria, especially here in the UK, you find basil leaf. So when I'm out of scent leaf, I go for basil leaf. But of course, you know that scent leaf has its own unique taste. So where preferable is not available? You make them available. Scent leaf is not just an ordinary leaf. It is full of medicinal benefits. I remember as a child, if I had any bit of stomach upset, the first leaf my grandma gets to prepare for me is the scent leaf. Yes, it's good with things like diarrhea and dysentery and all of that stomach ache problem. Can I tell you what? Please don't tell my mama and don't tell my grandma. She's late. Bless her soul. If I wanted to eat pepper soup as a child, I actually tell grandma my tummy hurts. That's way I get pepper soup. Oh my God. <laughs> Please don't tell. She what? Hey! Ha! I passed over here of this. So that's how popular scent leaf was and still is. And it has those benefits to manage gastric issues research has shown that it is rich for managing such stomach aches and and things like dysentery and diarrhea and stooling any of those sorts of illnesses not only that it is also good for managing infections that has to do with upper respiratory system so i mean things like cold cough asthma and all of that it's also good for sexually transmitted infections like STDs. Honestly, I was shocked when I was researching on this. Not only that, it also is beneficial for diabetes management and any of those metabolic diseases. And it's also referred to an, as an anti-cancer vegetable. Yeah, I read that in my research. So it is fully loaded. I'm sure there are people who are watching me who will be able to relate with this. Just leave your comment in the comment section some of the things you have seen Scently used for. I will really appreciate. You can add it to your pepper soup like I said. You can add it in combination with other Nigerian popular vegetables. 
you can squeeze it the uh, juice that comes from it is it might not taste right but honestly it is medicinal the number five vegetable is the lemon grass so lemon grass not very popular but it still does not deny the nutritional value that it gives or it contains lemon grass can be likened to what they call the chive i hope i'm pronouncing it right chive i will put the spelling on the screen in the uk so lemon grass contains loads of nutritional value some people use it to treat common cold so by steaming people actually will boil it bring the water down cover themselves up and give a proper steam as the person steams up it go penetrates through the skin pores and relieves cold symptoms upper respiratory infections like common cold like i said again asthma some even use it for things like pneumonia but remember in all of this it's always important to do this as a complementary management consult your doctor as well